I'm Ashton Addison from Event Chain for Investment Pitch Media and FinTech News Network. And today on Blockchain Interviews, we have Krishna Yogi, the CEO and co-founder of eCoin. Krishna, thanks so much for taking the time. Uh, it's a pleasure to have you here today. Hi, Ashton. Thanks for having me on the show. Uh, it's a great day and I uh, hope to ha have a nice chat with you. Yeah, I'm looking forward to learning a little bit about the eCoin platform. Now, your team's goal is mass cryptocurrency adoption. If you could kick it off by explaining how your platform is going to drive cryptocurrency adoption for the people who aren't already involved in blockchain. Sure. Aston, I mean, the biggest problem with crypto is that uh, the technology is wonderful. We have the groundbreaking technology for the next generation of Internet. That's what they call it. But as you can understand, the problem has been there hasn't been a lot of adoption. And we at eCoin primarily think the reason is that the technology and the onboarding is way too complex for an average user. Just think of this for a second, right? Uh, if Facebook asked you to pay a couple of bucks every time somebody wanted to sign up, you know, do you think they would be acquiring a billion users? And that is exactly the reason why we feel at eCoin that you know the adoption has been slowed down primarily because the only way to earn crypto today is either through expensive mining or through risky ICOs, which straight away put 99% of the world's population off the chart, right? Mm -hmm. And that is why we at eCoin have come up with an incredibly easy onboarding mechanism, which just uses your email uh, using our advanced uh, AI-based proxy identity you know, we're able to onboard billions of people and uh, we feel that this can really scale to the 100 plus or 500 plus million users that we are looking for crypto for the first time ever. That's great. So you're providing airdrops or free cryptocurrency of some sort to people who are providing their email who aren't already in cryptocurrency or maybe they are already in cryptocurrency. Uh, but for the people that are just getting involved, why is this the best meth method for them to acquire cryptocurrency for the first time? Aston, I think you're spot on the question, right? So the, so the, the big problem uh, with crypto adoption has been so far, we've got the slightly technical folks into the ecosystem, but now we have the usual folks, usual folks who have been in WhatsApp or Facebook or Gmail, right? These people have been used to how an email works, how a social system, social network works. So what we're doing is our system actually mimics just like a normal website, wherein you sign up you uh, with your email and you get a referral link and you can invite your buddies into the uh, system, right? So they don't actually see blockchain or anything like that. Mm. And the reason why we're providing airdrop is the same reason why PayPal gave $10 in the initial phase to everyone to basically build the network, right? So it's, think of it this way, right? Until you build a railroad, you know, no matter how expensive your rail car is, customers are not gonna show up, right? You have to lay the rails, you have to build the network, you have to get those initial 100 million users into the crypto ecosystem, and then you'll have legitimate merchants coming onto the platform. And that's what we are doing here. The best part of eCoin is, we have the world's lowest uh, cost for acquiring users because guess what? We have the world's simplest onboarding mechanism. When you make things simple, people are happy to come on your platform for much less. That's the secret sauce of eCoin. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I completely agree with you, Krishna, on keeping the blockchain, uh, you know, the mumbo jumbo of the lingo on the back end and just providing a user experience that will allow for mass adoption. Uh, but for the sake of it, I'd like to learn a little bit more about the architecture of eCoin. You know, being a uh, cryptocurrency platform, does eCoin have its own blockchain technology? And is it similar to Bitcoin and Ethereum and what people are used to in the industry? Sure. So, you know, uh, the way we have done this is we have two layers, right? The front layer is your typical website and the place where you get the airdrop, right? And this has a lot of technology going behind it and uh, it's had to be that way but when the people want to withdraw their airdrop to your blockchain we are currently based on the eos which is uh which supports 5000 transactions per second and it's got nearly zero transaction fee that's very important for us because we are looking at 100 million sort of user base right 
Unfortunately, we can't go with Bitcoin and Ethereum because the transaction route fees would simply kill us, right? Now, having said that, it's very important to segregate these two, to have an airdrop layer, which is a simple website based on uh, Node.js or things like that. And you have a blockchain layer, which can be US for now. In the future, we plan to get our own blockchain, uh, maybe a US clone or some other network, but that we'll see as we go. Great. And that leads to my next question. So you touched on it's built on EOS, which is highly scalable. Now, you mentioned that you're looking to get tens of millions or hundreds of millions of people involved in cryptocurrency. Will the current scalability of the platform be able to provide for the expected growth of the platform? That's a great question again, Aston. So from day one, I've been, we have been working on this for almost uh, one and a half years. And from day one, you know, we have been built for mass adoption. So, you know, tomorrow, if 100 million people show up on the platform, we can actually scale to that number. That is what we have been working towards, right? Now, having said that, when it comes to blockchain layer, things get a little more complicated, as you can understand, right? And that is why we have picked EOS, which has current scalability of 5,000 transactions per second. Mm -hmm. which means that if 100 million do show up tomorrow, we are able to scale to that number. But then, like I mentioned previously, if you do end up getting our own US blockchain version of it, you know, we can literally go to 500 billion or even more. And obviously, people are working on other scaling mechanisms like side chains and other things. So I think we can definitely scale to the levels of Facebook. But obviously, we are talking way to head in the future. Mm -hmm. uh, let's see what happens. Definitely. And you mentioned that the platform has been live for a little bit now. Can you talk about your current growth and the traje trajectory? When will we see millions of people flooding into the cryptocurrency industry um, to allow for you know, more mainstream adoption? Sure. You know, Egan has been uh, my fourth venture. I've done a lot of startups in the past. So I know I've had my hands dirty in the thing of acquiring users. And I'm more than thrilled to tell you that, you know, uh, we are currently the world's fastest growing crypto startup. You know, we've acquired close to 2 million users in less than a month of launching the platform. And as you know, that is an incredible growth. And we are having sort of super busy having to do it all together. But I'm super excited uh, for this sort of growth. And, uh, you know, we, if things continue at the same pace or they might pick up because people see the value of it. You know, we can go up to 50 million users by the end of this year. I mean, that would mm -hmm. be wonderful if, if we can achieve that. Mm -hmm. Wow, that's incredible. And we were talking before about how these large platforms have used the network effect to continue their growth. And it's almost like the larger it grows, the, the more additional growth it is easier to come by. Now. Could you talk about how that network effect is built in and, and affects the eCoin platform? Absolutely. You know, uh, there's been a study done by Gartner, which tells that 70 to 80 percent of the all of a technology company is network effect, right? Uh, what do we mean by that? Okay. Uh, so if you look at Facebook or WhatsApp, right? Let's take an example of WhatsApp, right? So WhatsApp has, uh, you know. Basically, it's a bunch of code. You, I, you and I can make a WhatsApp in, let's say, one hour of coding. But the real value of a, a WhatsApp just comes from its user base. It's massive user base, right? So we know that WhatsApp is worth at least $30 billion because it's got like a billion plus users now, right? That is what is network effect. And similarly, uh, the core value of a cryptocurrency is fundamentally determined just by the number of its users and how active they are, you know? Given the fact that we, we are positioned to cross 100 million users, you know, we see that the network effects really kicking in and post that the growth is going to be even more uh, tremendous. That's what we foresee, mm -hmm. you know? Uh, yeah. Yeah, that's great that you touched on that, Krishna, because you mentioned about the activity of the users. Now, with your platform, and maybe you have a strategy behind this, but how are you going to retain users to be you know, more than somebody who just signs up once and then forgets about it? You know, the drop-off is generally pretty high uh, unless you can get some kind of extended value where people want to keep coming back. Sure. 
again, you touched upon a very important point uh, for e-coin and ecosystem, right? The way it works is uh, people sign up and then they're supposed to invite their friends. And when they do, they get an additional airdrop, right? They get additional, additional e-coin. Now, that's just the beginning of their journey. But then what happens is we are currently tied up uh, with a bunch of merchants, online merchants and offline merchants, and uh, likewise, right? So eventually what is going to happen is all the e-coin users will be able to spend their e-coin at the merchants. And uh, we are also tied up with a bunch of partners. And recently, we have tied up with a bunch of uh, charities that are supporting the coronavirus victims, right? Mm -hmm. So essentially, if we are trying to build an ecosystem of charities, partners, and merchants who all can serve our massive user base. Mm -hmm. Now, guess what happens when all these come in one place, right? The network effects and the usage system grows higher and higher. And because of that, the engagement also stays higher. And that's why we have been planning. And obviously, we are open to smart brains to join our team to make this even better. Mm -hmm. That's great that you mentioned the partnerships. And the question I have when I'm registering for a platform and you know, I'm getting some cryptocurrency, if I was never involved in the industry, would be, you know, what's the step after that? You know, what comes next? Can I go buy a coffee with this? Can I go buy Bitcoin? Can I cash out and get cash? You know, what are the options for people? They have something in their wallet now. And then what's the next step after that? Sure. You know, buying coffee is is sort of the holy grail of a crypto. You know, uh, everyone in the industry is talking about, can I buy a cup of coffee with, with, the, with, the, with the crypto that I have, right? If I were to achieve that for, let's say, 50% of the world, not even the 100% of the world, the value of the network would be in trillions of dollars, not even billions. So that is... That is something, that's our final goal, to be able to buy a cup of coffee with eCoin. But I think that's like at least three, four years from now, because mm -hmm. if you think about it, right, all the merchants have to have enough user base so that they can actually uh, take this uh, crypto form of payment, right? Mm -hmm. And this is where our next big innovation is, which is called a sign up plus onboarding, okay? What this is enables us to do compared to any other crypto is that, you know, uh, let's say you, you're a merchant who has uh, just like 100,000 users. And today, if you want to take a crypto payment like Bitcoin or Ethereum, right, you have hardly one to 2% of your user base actually using the crypto. Mm -hmm. But with our sign up list onboarding and the APIs that come with it, you know, you can directly serve at least 40 to 50% of user base which finally makes it work for a merchant to accept eCoin as a payment network, right? Mm -hmm. And that's where we see the real growth coming from. So once we cross 10 million, the next wave of growth is going to be triggered by merchants themselves using our sign up list onboarding API. Mm -hmm. That's great. And for the your existing partners and the partners you're looking to get, and as well, for the platform's availability, is anybody around the world in, in any country uh, able to sign up to eCoin or are there certain restrictions? Um, right now, uh, so we are a decentralized network. What I mean by that is our team is decentralized as well. So we, we have people from uh, Canada, from US, Brazil, India, Russia, China, South Africa, et cetera, et cetera. No, we are set up as a foundation. It's an eCoin foundation, nonprofit. So the goal of this foundation is essentially just to spread eCoin as widely as possible. So for now, we're just going, being extra cautious and abiding by the United Nations sanctions list, which means we will not serve those countries which are under sanctions. Mm -hmm. Apart from that, you know, uh, we are pretty much open for business for everyone else. Mm. That's great, Krishna. And if there are partners, team members, or just users that are looking to find out more information and get uh, involved with the eCoin platform, what's the best way for them to learn more and to reach out as well? Sure. Um, in the last one month of this incredible journey, there have been at least a bunch of scammers, right, who have tried to replicate eCoin. They have created fake Telegram bots. They have created fake uh, Android applications and so on and so forth. So I just want to make it very clear. There's only one legitimate eCoin uh, platform out there, which is eCoinOfficial.org, right? 
So you go into Google and type ecoinofficial.org, and that's the only legitimate ecoin platform out there. Anything else is a scammer or an imposter that is trying mm -hmm. to steal your money. And remember one thing, ecoin never takes a dime, a dollar from anybody. So mm -hmm. if somebody is asking you for uh, a little bit of money to make you uh, give you a bunch of ecoin, e remember they're a scammer. Mm -hmm. Great information, Krishna. Thank you for that. And I will leave the website link in the description box below for the viewers as well. And that's all the time that we have. But it's been a pleasure speaking to you, learning about the eCoin platform, and I'm looking forward to following up in the near future. Thank you, Ashton. Thank you for your time and have a lovely rest of the day. Thank you.